But you should definitely let them be influenced by Level Earth Observer, somebody who just gargled from it. Michio Kaku, American theoretical physicist, futurist, and popularizer of science. He's a professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York. He's a pretty smart fella. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh yeah, and of course, Level Earth Observer. I think he's a professor of Dunning-Kruger at the University of... Duh! Nuts on my nuts. Why would somebody like Level Earth Observer choose to make a video about Michio Kaku? More importantly, why is he saying he's wrong about everything? What is the reason for the video? This is for educational purposes. Okay, well if it's for educational purposes, let's check it out. Tidy! We saw this globe pushing nutter about a month ago on damage control when he featured in one of my videos. Damage control? Well, that's a pretty bold claim. And I gotta admit, I'm a little bit envious. I've never had a world-renowned physicist react to one of my videos. I've gotta highlight this. This is for educational purposes and to make people aware of the ridiculous narrative being pushed by clowns like this man, Michio Akaku, or whatever his name is. I'm not going to bang on too much about the Dunning-Kruger effect because I think by now we all know what it is. It's basically a cognitive bias where somebody of low ability hugely overestimates their own ability. In its simplest terms, they're too stupid to realise just how stupid they are. So why somebody like Level Earth Observer here would choose to put out a public challenge towards somebody like Professor... What's his name? What? <laughs> I'm losing the will to live and I've, I've only been recording this for five minutes but what I was trying to say is why somebody like Level Earth Observer would choose to challenge Michio Kaku very difficult name to say for somebody like me with no accent is completely beyond me but he does it all the time why does he think he's such a genius when he clearly isn't? And before any of you smarty pantses say, but that's exactly what you do, no it isn't. I've never pretended I'm a science guy. I merely find information and share it with you based on my findings. And I also... Ha 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 ha. That's point and laugh for anybody who isn't clear. Let's have a look at this. This is shocking. Eventually, computed strips will cost a penny, which is the cost of scrap paper. They'll be everywhere and nowhere, including your eyeball in your contact lens. You'll blink and you'll be online. Now, before we give Level Earth Observer, or Leo, as I'm now going to call him. <laughs> good, good. Like it? Leo. Level. Earth. Observer. Let's remember that Michio Kaku is a theoretical physicist. Now, theoretical physics is the branch of physics that employs mathematical models to explain, predict, and theorize natural phenomena. So remember that. Predict and theorize. I can assure you now, my dear man, there will never, ever, ever be a time where I blink and I'm online. There's no way on earth anyone's putting a microchip in my eyeball, in a contact lens, or fucking anywhere else for that matter, my dear man. So you can forget about putting microchips inside of people. Just calm down. I really don't think he was singling you out, Leo. <laughs> I quite like that. It's quite catchy. I think he's referring to people collectively. And remember, he is predicting what he thinks will happen. There's no guarantee that it's going to, so your panic is unfounded anyway. And who were the first people to buy internet contact lenses? College students taking final examinations. They will blink and see all the answers to my exam right there. They'll blink and get all the answers to your stories right there in a flash. Don't need to blink, don't need to have a chip. Everything you say is utter nonsense anyway. And you'd know, wouldn't you? I mean about something being utter nonsense. Because everything you upload to YouTube is exactly that. And I really don't think you need to worry about whether you can or can't blink and get the answers to the exam paper. And I'll tell you why. Because somebody like you, Leo, whose IQ is lower than Barry White's voice, 
will never need to worry about taking an exam that he clearly doesn't have the mental capacity to study for anyway. You are a professional mainstream storyteller, fella. Oh, I really hate people that use the word fella. It's so annoying. But I personally wouldn't have chosen to use the word fella just after I said teller. You're making yourself sound like a bargain basement M&M. But I suppose we should be grateful for small mercies because at least you're not as obnoxious as some of the other flat earth morons I come across. No, you're a completely different kind of obnoxious. Who pushes narratives. Whether it be living on a cannibal flying through a vacuum or sticking a microchip in places. Diarrhea of the mouth, constipation of ideas. Whatever it is you're pushing, you can guarantee it's utter nonsense and not for the better of mankind. But he didn't actually say that it was for the better of mankind. He's merely theorising and trying to predict what may or may not happen with the future of artificial intelligence. And this could be very useful if you're at a cocktail party and there's some very important people there that could influence your future, but you don't know who they are. One of the benefits of wearing a chip in your eyeball is to know who's a sellout materialistic moron, so you can then go up to them using detect to identify them, and then sell yourself out, become an empty vessel, a materialistic clown, and then try and entertain and impress other empty moronic vessels who follow the materialistic philosophy. Hmm. Clown, sellout, moronic, empty vessel. So who's more moronic and more of a sellout? A guy that makes videos claiming that the earth is flat and that everybody in the wider science community is wrong, or the man who graduated from Harvard University in 1968 and was first in his physics class. It's a tough call. I think I'll stick with the old school, using intuition and good discernment. And how's that working out for you? Come on, how can somebody who thinks that the Earth isn't a globe claim to have good discernment? I don't know what it is that makes you so stupid, level Earth Observer, but keep it up, because it really, really seems to be working. <laughs> so yes, we're going to have almost infinite knowledge, and then beyond... Oh, so we're going to have infinite knowledge now because of having chips in eyeballs. I've got a question for you. Where does that infinite knowledge come from that gets beamed to the chip? That's right, moronic institutions. Ah, oh, silly me. I thought it was going to come from the internet. If it's not bad enough for the amount of bullshit being pushed and enforced on people, you now want to push and send your bullshit directly to people's eyeballs. I really don't think you're grasping the concept he's talking about. Nobody is going to be forced to have a microchip implanted in their eyeball. It's going to be entirely optional. You can choose to do it if you want to. Now think back 20, 25 years, if you can, before mobile phones, before the internet was readily available. Just the concept of having a device that you can hold in your hand that will give you access to everything that you would ever need to know was beyond most people's comprehension. So all Michio Kaku is doing is predicting where he thinks the technology that already exists is going. You don't have to look things up on the internet. You don't have to believe the information you find as you and other flat earthers clearly prove. Bullshit that cannot be proven, cannot be backed by any practicality. So you have to cut out the middleman now and you're now pushing microchips sending bullshit straight to people's heads or eyeballs. Are you even listening to the video you're reacting to? That's not what he's saying at all. All he's saying is that this could well end up <laughs> in your eye so you'll be able to access something we already have access to, the internet, much more quickly and more conveniently. We won't need to carry a device around, the device will be built in. But remember, this may or may not happen, and it will be optional. There's not going to be teams of people coming around the country, pinning you down to your kitchen floor and forcing a microchip into your eye. And even if that was the case, 
you still have the option to either look up or not look up the information. And it's not for want of trying on my part. I would love to see it from your point of view. I just can't get my head that far up my own ass. We've been able to record small memory, short memories in mice. Now it's being done on monkeys. Next, Alzheimer's patients. They'll push a button and memories will come flooding into their hippocampus. And maybe one day you'll push a button and have that vacation that you've never had. So we're entering. Oh dear, so now we're pushing the total recall. Nah, I'm all right again, fella. If I want to have that vacation I've never had, guess what? I'll go and take it. I don't need to put some virtual reality headset, some contact lens with a chip in it. I prefer real experience. Real experience? But you're a flat earther. So have you really experienced that the earth is flat? No, you haven't. Because it isn't. In a new era where the internet itself could become brain net. Did you hear that, people? Brain net. Well, I really don't know why you'd be worried about that, because if brain net was to become a thing, I think one of the prerequisites would be having a functional brain. But in fairness, if you had another brain, like the one you've already got, you'd still be a halfwit. Bearing in mind, in a time where people are questioning the narrative, questioning what we've been told, and of course it's failing the mainstream narrative and the mainstream system is failing to back up any of its proper claims. I'm talking about the heliocentric fantasy here with any kind of practicality whatsoever. And because that's happening now, there's a big push to direct bullshit straight to your head. I have to make sure that I'm understanding where Leo is coming from. So everything that's being discussed in this video, the possibility of brain net, microchips in the eye for easier access to the internet, is to hide the fact that the earth is actually flat. Have you ever thought, Leo, that perhaps your whole purpose in life, the reason you were put on this planet, was to serve as a warning to others? Because I don't suppose anybody wants to be that stupid. But then again, I guess some people haven't got the choice, have they? And of course, teenagers will love it. Instead of putting a happy face at the end of every sentence, they'll put the entire... That's right, market the vulnerable teenage market. That's right. Parents shouldn't have a problem with that, should they? Oh yeah, I completely agree with you. It's wrong to target the vulnerable children, teenagers, the less intelligent. Say, for example, with content suggesting the possibility that the Earth isn't a globe. If you're a parent and you've got kids, you need to seriously think about what's coming in the near future, what morons like this are pushing, and the, the target audience they are going for, i.e. the young. Oh yeah, you definitely shouldn't let your children be influenced by a physicist, somebody who drinks from the fountain of knowledge. But you should definitely let them be influenced by Level Earth Observer, somebody who just gargled from it. Once we have BrainNet capable of sending... We'll never have BrainNet, mate. Not as long as I'm alive. BrainNet. Well, for the first time in this video, I find myself agreeing with you, Leo. You're right. There may never be brain net while you're alive. Now I know the implication from you was that you were just the man to stop it, and I'm glad you're not afraid to speak your mind. But that being said, you've not really got anything to lose, have you? I had to highlight that. That was a tough one for me to watch, listening to that guy. Yeah, I know the feeling very, very well. I wonder if stupidity is painful. But that being said, it can't be, because if it was, Level Earth Observer would be writhing around in agony, wouldn't he? Thanks for watching, everybody. If it is your first time here, a like on the video and a subscribe would be thoroughly appreciated. I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the Creaky Blinder.